G'day mate, and welcome back to the crust with me, Jenny. Me and our last episode, we did a little bit of expansion. We had the Diggy Boys out, we're moving a large area for today's project. Also, we built on a little bit of extra habitat, a little bit of extra habitat for the people because I want to get them working on machines inside their habitat rather than outside the habitat. I think it'll just work a little bit better for their oxygen supply. Today, I want to get both those done. Also, we probably want to get into contracts because I'd like to start making some money. I think money is probably going to be one of the things we need to look for in the not too distant future, but I can't do any of that and so much more until I ask a very important question. Of course, the very important question being, well, can I borrow a like? I just need to borrow a like. I need to borrow a like early in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video. Well, that's okay. You can come to my colony and you can work here in space instead. All right, uh, today, first thing we need to do is, uh, well, a couple of things. First thing I need to do is I need to make sure the rover is moving because it generates science and I need some science. Uh, the other rover we need to send over here eventually after I have some medical supplies. I could buy them from the market. But they're incredibly expensive. All right, uh, the other thing I need to do is research. I need to get, well, the multi regulator refinery up and running. That's going to be our main task. That's nine days away. Also, at the same time, uh, as we're only making science, well, really either through the rover, uh, through the rover, we're getting a little bit from uh, the ice spring, but we're not making any green. So anything that's green, I need to be a little bit cautious about. I need to get a few things done. I want to get the components factory and the large bulk storage. Plus, I want to get the smart concrete so we can unlock the Assembler Mark II. We're about to be able to build the Assembler Mark I. I also need faster belts. So we need a few things. Uh, can I cancel that and put that in there? So we're going to get the regular refinery. Then we're going to get the components factory because I need the components factory to go with large bulk storage. I also need to get the extended trader, the extended tender license, so we can unlock the colonist hiring market so I can actually buy in, well, some of you guys, some of the fans of the show, uh, some of the supporters of, on both Patreon and also the YouTube members, some of the slaves to work inside the colony. And that's going to be our first plan. But, uh, God... It's all over the place. It's all over the place, depending on whether the slaves are doing any work. So, uh, slaves. First thing I want to do for the slaves is I want to extend out their living quarters just a little bit. Uh, we're going to be putting in a room like so. Another room. Still extending. Like so. How much are the diggy boys digging? A little bit further. Okay. Uh, can I extend just a little bit further? I will delete the excess walls in just a minute there and yeah we'll delete the excess walls in just a minute all right uh can i go into there can i grab that one uh there to there place that would be ideal yes okay and then can i do dismantle dismantle uh that slice and that slice and that slice okay up oh, that slice all right uh need to have a door need to put a door somewhere we're gonna put a door Ah, uh, we've got one up in this corner. We're going to put one down here, I think. I'm going to okay that. All right, so the bots now have something to do. Uh, whilst the bots have something to do, I want to have them have a few more things to do. One of the things I desperately need is... I need the assemblers. We're going to be throwing in a couple of assemblers. Uh, uh, being one, two, three. Okay, uh, these guys have a couple of recipes. I need to start making nanotubes. Nanotubes are going to require silicon, plus they're also going to require carbon fiber. I haven't actually started making carbon fiber. We probably should do that. Also, I want uh, durillium plates. They're going to be probably very important in the future. And I want to have microprocessor assemblies. I also want modular frames, but obviously they're going to have to wait till I get another machine down. And uh, carbon fiber. I never got around to making carbon fiber. Can I also have, uh, well, the slaves make some carbon fiber? Can we put you, uh, let's go with... Uh, sure, let's go there. Uh, all right, so uh, the bots have something to do, the people have something to do, and I have an idle rover. Okay, if the rover's idle, the science factors go down, the potential science is based on whether he's moved recently or not. So I need to keep him marching. Uh, we're gonna go this way a whole heap because I don't wanna move him around all the time. All right, uh, other thing I do wanna do is I wanna pick up one of these and put it down right there because uh, another refrigerator can store meds. We don't have meds yet, but I need to have meds in the future. All right, so that's gonna be our first plan. Second plan is I'm very, very maxed out in CPU capacity, so I need to do some deleting. Just a little bit of deleting, tiny bit of deleting, just need to get rid of some odds and ends that I can live without. Uh, the first thing we're gonna be getting rid of is, I wanna get rid of this. Um, what can I actually get rid of that we don't need? Well, look, you're not built. You're not built and you cost me CP power. 
Uh, okay, multi-regolith refinery. Let's talk about the multi-regolith refinery. So we have a single regolith refinery. We've been, this is what we've been using up until now. Uh, they use, what, one CPU and also eight power and every six seconds they'll process two regolith. The multi-regolith refinery, this one that we're about to unlock, it's, it does sound like power going out. Okay, uh, it's slightly different. Uh, it's going to every five, well, first off, it's five CPUs. So I need to make sure I at least have five CPU headway. But every five seconds, it's going to process five regolith, which means it processes, well, 60 regolith per minute. Uh, the catch is my belts. Uh, can I go belts? My tier one belts only transport 60 items per minute. So I need to have, well, uh, this running flat out, absolutely flat out on the belt to uh, feed the one multi processing regolith factory. Now, uh, the other thing I should mention is you are currently mining, um, well, 50% silicon plus 6% aluminium, 6% titanium, and 6% iron with 32% slag. Now, uh, the single regolith refinery takes in 50% silicon and everything else and spits everything else out on the slag belt. It just processes everything to slag. It doesn't actually do anything intelligent with it. It just turns it to slag. The multi-regolith refinery, uh enough water to operate module. I disagree. Uh, the multi-regolith refinery processes everything. So it means I'm going to get all the goodies out of my regolith, which is going to be very, very important. Also, it's going to split them out in different, many, many different belts, which does mean that I need to, um, well, have many, many different belts. Uh, you're going to start making our carbon fiber. You are going to start making our nanotubes. Uh, that's my research that I needed desperately. And now I can start making the multi-regolith refinery. Whilst the bots keep building away. Uh, can I copy you to there? Uh, I have almost enough CPU. Okay, can I delete you? Can I delete you? Can I delete you? And can I delete you? All right. What I want to do is I want to put down some storages first. We're going to start with storage and we're going to work out backward, backwards. All right, we're going to put a storage higher. And then I'm going to have a two tile gap, another storage, two tile gap, another storage, two tile gap, another storage. Am I happy with that? Uh, yeah, we're going to move down slightly. Okay, uh, I'm going to have four storages. All right, uh, and then I want to have my multi-regolith refinery. We want to put this roughly centered. doesn't have to be exactly centered, but just roughly centered. And, uh, well, you need to have a regolith come in at the bottom, which is going to be uh, right here. And you're also going to throw slag out the top, right there. Okay, uh, then I need to get belts. This is going to be the expensive part. Uh, do I want to move you over? I think I'm going to move you over. Okay, can I move you over because all the shorter belts save me more money and money is a tight thing currently uh okay cancel that and cancel that okay can i do that one and can i do that one all right so belts 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 all right belts uh you are gonna have well let's start with the bottom left bottom left is gonna be iron that's nice and easy it's gonna go into that bucket we're gonna call that the iron uh the top left is gonna be titanium we're gonna run that into there and it's gonna go in there nice and simple now i also have well the silicon on the top right and i also have the aluminium aluminium or aluminum all depends on how you want to say it uh on the bottom right so we're gonna have two undergrounds nice and simple we're gonna keep things nice and plain and then you're gonna wrap whoop you are going to wrap into there, and then we're going to bring you forward just a few tiles, just, you know, a, a few, and then wrap that into there. And we're going to bring you... Uh, no, that's not what I was looking for. Not at all. Okay, right, and then we're going to bring you into there, and then you into here, and up to there, and then into there. Okay, obviously my slag goes out the front. Obviously my regular goes in the back. That's going to be our plan. Now, let's mark some boxes before I forget. Uh, you're going to be... Uh, no, you're going to be iron. You're going to be iron. You're going to be... Take... Titanium. Uh, you're going to be the pink one, being our silicon, and you, sir, are going to be our aluminium. You are going to be our regolith in, and you are going to be our slag. Okay. All right. Next, I need to hook up some belts. So I have a lovely belt here. This lovely belt has, well, silicon on it, um, because this is what we deconstructed. And can I bring you through to about here? and then plug that into there. Great. Now I need to have some power. Okay, power I'm going to intentionally keep nice and simple by putting a power pole right here. I'm going to plug that into there. Yes, you can plug it into several different corners of the buildings. It's one of the features I love about this game. And then I just need to get power out of Dodge. So let's go down the middle and hope this doesn't get in my way in the future. And uh, that's part of the grid. So you're now plugged in. All right, so that's step number one. Step number two is... Actually, step number two is conveyors uh except that i just spent 40 grand on belts all right step number two is dismantle i'm gonna rip up that i'm also gonna take this bucket we have here this bucket we have here which has had five uh, 
800 uh, regolith dumped into it. Uh, we're just going to run a belt from there to there. Just because I want the bucket empty, and, well, we're about to build another regolith bucket, so it's a good spot to put all the regolith. All right, uh, that should get that being empty. Meanwhile, can I find some more funds by removing these belts because these belts are not going to be doing that anymore and uh, that should give me back some well moon credits yes moon credits uh i have all of about four cp power can i you me doing that recipe instead i sort of need you built now because i need to have that cp power all right uh can i do mining can i do you you're one cp power i can do you cool uh i want to put in uh with fire can you guys dig out this all right can i get power 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 i'm gonna bring power to here and then to here and then to here to here and that'll leave us right there for right now and then i need to get this built so bots get to action all right so one of the things i do want to do this is gonna be very very important is i want to get our well our uh smart concrete yeah dumb as a brick all right i want to put you let's go with eh, Let's, let's give us this plenty of room. I'm going to put you all the way up there. Okay, so you're going to take slag from the slag bucket straight into there. Did I mark you to be slag? I did mark you to be slag. All right, the other thing I want to do is you're going to need some of this pink stuff. The pink stuff, we're going to bring uh, that tile. Yes, and then can I do... Dismantle, dismantle. Okay, can I do an underground from there to there? And then can I run that that way in the future? I can. Cool. All right. Now, these guys. These guys are pretty smart. They have options straight away. Uh, first off, we could filter them. That uh, would be very nice. Don't need to filter this one. I just need this one to be a priority out. So all my silicon goes here first. That's the most important place. And then, then it can go elsewhere. Uh, we'll go to belts. And we'll spend another $11,000 on belts. All right. Uh, no, I don't need another belt. And I just need this stuff built. So can I give you some priorities so we can actually get this emptied and then I can recover some uh, ribbles. Uh, can I also give you some priority because I'd like to have you filled so we can get some microprocessors. Uh, this has been dug out, but now I don't have any CPU power. Where can I get some CPU power from? Uh, you, it's daytime. Oh, first off, ping on the off chance. Nothing. Okay, uh, can I get you to drive back this way? Uh, all right. Yeah, they're not really getting stuff built. Uh, they're too busy doing deliveries. Uh, do I want to prioritize science anymore? We're working our way through. We're working our way through. I need a little bit of everything. Uh, okay, can I do... Can you have a priority? And you have a priority. And... 60% uh, workday. We're, we're getting close to getting end up with a 70% workday. Uh, I don't really want you doing engineering. Like, don't get me wrong, I do want you doing engineering, but I still want you doing science more, more than engineering. You must can just do this engineering. All right, uh, you've made seven microprocessors. That's going to be important because under the science tab, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I uh, researched the CPU data center. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have eight of those and that'll fix my CPU problems. Okay, you're now built. All right, with you now being built, you can now fill up with, uh, well, uh, regolith, and that just means this needs to be built. What are the bots doing? The hauling bots are cleaning up this stuff off the floor. If I turn that off, what do the hauling bots start doing? Uh, module offline. Yeah, we know about that. Module is being repaired. We know about that. Production storage is full. Uh, you have too much food. That sounds like a first world problem. Uh, you're always too full because, uh, well, you make 10 and you only consume 9. We know about that for a while. You have too much organics. That's, oh, again, first world problem. Uh, you have the same problem. You process too much. That's fine. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, we know about that one. Yeah, okay. So everything is actually fine. All right. I just need to have things built. And I need a CPU. Can I go to one of you? And yes, just up the priority on one of you. If I get one of you built, that gives me 10 more CPU power. 10 more CPU power means I can put down one of these buildings. That'd be important. And you're waiting on more silicon. You chew through a lot of silicon. Okay, that uh, means I can put down one of those more, one more of those buildings. I can also get iron harvesting. Uh, oh, uh, storage. Can I do storage, storage, storage? 
Uh, just copy. Okay, uh, can I do a three tile gap? Three tile gap should be far enough. Can I copy this belt? We're going to bring this belt into here. And you and me storing uh, more smart bricks. Yeah, and build that belt as well. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm under 100 grand. That's a problem. It's a problem we'll deal with, but it's definitely a problem. Uh, okay, so I have a CPU. Can I put you here? I want you to be doing uh, the Derillium plates. Yes. Uh, can I also come here? And I want to get mining. Uh, can I get a regolith extractor? And I want to be a little bit tricky and I want to put down two of them. Why two of them? Well, it does mean I'm burning out the resources twice as fast. But it also means that my belts have to move 60 materials per second. And each uh, miner puts out 20. So if I build two of them, uh, that maxes out the belt. Because the belt only moves 60. So, you know, if you're doing 20 and you're doing 20 and you're doing 20, that's 60. That's going to run this at full speed. Because this did five every five seconds. I eat 60. So, uh, I need you built. Can I just up the priority on you? The carrier drones can do the carrying stuff. I don't... I'm not even sure what they're doing. Okay, can I remove the priority on that? Can I remove the priority on that? Uh... Yeah, you keep saying not enough power to run module. I think you're lying to me. All right, so you're going to start processing in. You'll take in 60 regolith per second, like I said, and you're going to process, well, mainly silicon because this belt is mainly silicon, but this is all the stuff off the ground. The stuff on the ground is a lot of it is slag, a lot of it is slag, but there is also some silicon, some aluminium, some iron, some titanium, so we're going to process that through. Now, those silicons are going to head up here and go into, well, the smart brute factory, and some other resources are going to come into these following buckets. They're automatically going to be filtered, which is going to be very, very important, also means it's very important that I get a few smelters through thrown down. So we're going to have a smelter here for iron. I want to have probably about that much room. Yeah. Uh, and I have two iron smelters. So we're going to assume I'm going to want two, well, two iron miners. So we're going to assume I want two iron smelters. And we're going to do that. Okay. That. Cool. Build. All right, uh, other thing I need to do is power. I want to put a power pole here between them, and then I can power you up, power you up. I also want to have another storage. Yoink, and we'll put a storage uh, one, two, three tiles away. Three tiles is just enough room that I can plug this right in the middle, and I can add stuff before it or remove stuff after it, should I need to. Should I decide that I want to, you know, use one of these priorities and say, oh, all the iron from the whole line goes this way first before it goes to storage, or if I want to do something like that. There are lots of options. Uh, you are definitely not iron. You're now iron. Oh, steel, rather. Okay, so you're going to be steel. You're going to be built. You're going to be built. And then these should get built. Obviously, they've done most of the deliveries, so it's just a matter of just mass building. And this one's not done yet. Okay. And where are we? You were processing. You have 90 of this stuff. And how much of that uh, do I have? I have 163. Okay, cool. Because the next thing we're building requires that stuff. All right. Can I get research? 91%. Uh, we're missing green. Okay. Can I get... Oh, they're now doing green. They're doing 240 green. They are all over the place, these scientists. Uh, okay, component factory one. Uh, and then smart concrete factory. So I still have multiple to go in this line. Yeah, yeah, research is a little bit slow. We will speed it up in the not too distant future. Oh, you didn't get power. There you go, you got power now. All right, so we now have smart concrete running. Uh, you guys need need to have a recipe. That's probably important. I do sort of wish they'd auto get a recipe, but whatever just happens to be fed in the back of them. And that's now empty, cool. I can recover a few moon bucks and I can delete that too. All right, so that is our first multi-regolith re refinery. That's step one. Step two is, um, well, multiple multi-regolith refineries. Uh, what resource do I want next? That requires a belt. Um, we could do aluminium and silicon. I need to have this dug out. Uh, this obviously has been scanned. So can I get this dug out high priority? Yeah. Because I'm going to have 
Uh, iron's gonna be here. This is our titanium, so titanium will be here. But silicon will be up here, and therefore aluminium will be down here. We just need to separate everything out so we don't end up running into one another. Yeah, that's going to be very important. But uh, what we're going to do whilst we wait for them to get digging is we're going to continue with the quest line. Uh, can I get a medical block? Medical block is the thing that I want. I'm going to throw that right there. We're going to give that all the priority under the world because I want it happen to right now. I also like... Oh, that has been delivered. It has 20 out of 20. Storage is full. Oh, we have too much of that stuff. And then that's not full. So they're just not moving stuff around. I do really wish the people would move stuff around inside their little habitation center. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. I want them to do more science and other things as well. Oh, you're also full. That's a nice feature to have. Uh, you are not full. I don't think I need any of that anytime soon. I do need that. Hey, it's down construction. All right. Uh, we want to get the medical block up and running. Uh, you already set to store meds, and I need to have 10 meds. The living quarters are fully equipped. Nice. We've done a lot of work. We have. But we can't relax just yet. This I can is relax. Only the beginning. No, I, I disagree. I can relax. All right. I need to put aluminium in here. I need to put organics in here. I need to put nanotubes in here. It's four and a half aluminium with four and a half organics with four and a half nanotubes equals 1.5 medicine. Don't question Alice. me. I have great news. Oh, yeah? There's an opportunity to capitalize on Ooh. our lunar venture. I like in a opportunities. Faster time frame. You must have slept through the latest news. A meteorite just hit the moon. We're short on resources and Bit time, suck, and all it? supply shipments to Earth have been cut off. But surely you have a brilliant idea. Oh my God, Director, it's we're big. in a unique situation. Oh. There's no alternative to lunar production on this Earth. This is this is true. We've made excellent progress in restoring production. This is also true. Basic resources will go for extremely favorable prices. Oh, you right have a now, point? The ACIL company is requesting a batch of silicon to continue producing building materials. You can accept the contract at the control center. It's gone from the ACIL to the ACIL. I feel like, like he might be Australian. Because in, here in Australia, we shorten every word as short as possible. Like Dave, Dave, four letters. Okay, for some reason becomes Dave-O. It's D-A-V... Apostrophe O, technically, if you're writing it. Nobody actually writes it. But Devo. Like, it's not actually shorter, but it's, it's it, it feels shorter to say. At least it does in Australia. Uh, the ACIL would become ACIL. Yeah, 100% in Australia. 100%. Definitely, we'd shorten everything. All right. Uh, we'd like to complete the contract. Yes, because uh, higher amounts of profit sounds like a wonderful idea. Because... We do remember that it wasn't that long ago that Alice was complaining that I'd spent all the money and we had to go into the reserve bank account, i.e. my personal credit card. I'd like to pay that off before the interest fees get too bad, because I have a feeling uh, the interest fees are slightly higher when you tell them that your address is, um, well, we were in orbit around the moon, but then the Hope Station crashed, so um, I'm not sure what my current living address is. It's somewhere. All right. Uh, a landing platform yes. to exchange resources with Earth. Got one of them. It's a good thing we built one recently. We don't have it recently. Now I'll explain the basic principles of working with the Logistics Management Center and the Contracts Exchange. Please be patient. I need to find a re research that I haven't done. Uh, can I do radio ra radio isotope thermoelectric generator? See, I, I knew we'd get there in the end. All right, uh, can I do that one because that uses blue? Projector for the drone upgrade, 20%. Increase drone travel speed by 20%. No, actually, I think I want that one. I, I do want this one, because this gives us solar panel upgrades. Yep. All the solar panels will run 15% more efficient, just off the bat. Nice upgrade to have, but drones running around faster also sounds like a very important upgrade, considering how I abuse them. Uh, also, 500 science. That's um impressive. Okay, uh, contracts. Uh, screen, ledger, I've got... Uh, ledger, le 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 ledger, I've got this. Okay, here. Please return to the control. Yep. Ledger. Under the commerce center. The left column should. Ledger. We have the crust solutions. In case you need a solution, it comes directly from crust. And uh, I can buy another Rover Scout or a cargo truck. I can also buy science points. This is an option. Uh, in fact, this is a fairly cheap option should you want science to run a little bit faster or just have more science in general. So you can buy science. Okay. In theory, in the future, sometime, we can buy technology as well. Okay, on top of that is logistics. Logistics we're going to get into uh, in just a moment. Uh, there is also the market. I can come on the market and buy things. Um, like, I do need 10 medical for that uh, contract. 
I could click this, which puts one in there. I could hold down control and click this and put in 10 in there. I could hold down shift and click this and put in 100 in there. But uh, 10 of them is 27,000, well, moon bucks. Um, don't get me wrong, like medical is actually, no, that's, that's med medicine is, well, low at 2, 3, high at 3, 2. So it, it's got a big sway in it. We're currently about midway price. It is a possibility, but uh, it's one I don't want to really get into right now. It's a little bit too pricey for me right this second. Contracts, ACAL. Uh, down here we have our list of all the different contract factions, the people, different people that are offering us contracts. Uh, they're down here. On in the center. Yep. After we click on one of them, we get a list of all the contracts they are currently offering us. Uh, currently, the ACIL, which only has one contract and also is still lossy sunglasses, has a uh, high demand for silicon. So we can see on the contract availability time how long before the contracts were removed from the market because it was not filled. Uh, the completion time, so how long you actually have to complete the contract. We need to ship this stuff too. Very, very important. We'll come back to that one later. Uh, what they're going to offer me, they're going to offer me 18 grand and 60 science for some unknown period of time. And what they want, 45 silicon. This window provides... Jump, 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 jump. More details. So, uh, 18,000 credits, uh, 400 relations. So we can improve our relations with them, which means that uh, we can get more contracts. That's very, very important. Overall reputation, that's going to come a little bit later when we can improve our reputation and uh, therefore get cheaper prices when buying and selling. We have to pay less to grease the right wheels to ship things back and forth. That's probably more accurate. And uh, the 90 science, it turns out, it's going to be over 60 days. So that's nine times six. 5,400 science, yeah. And all they want is uh, 45 silicon. I happen to have 600, so we're gonna click send resources. Yep, 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 yep. Ledger, I've got this, trust me. All right, uh, over here, uh, we had, like I said, shift, alt, uh, shift or control to send the right amount. I'm going to select, well, uh, shift, all of it, just 45. And if I click send, it's gonna cost me a thousand moon bucks, but, but, pause. I have 8,900 and 200. 89,258 moon bucks. Okay, comment center, uh, you, uh, send resources. Uh, hold down shift, click that. Okay, the standard cargo pod is gonna cost me a thousand moon bucks. Now, I can have a faster cargo pod at 3,000 moon bucks and a larger cargo pod. This holds 3,000, that holds 6,000, that holds 9,000. The, the 20 days, I've no idea what 20 days means. 20 days means nothing, honestly. Uh, but uh, they are different prices depending on different sites. Now, uh, for the standard one, like I said, I had, how much was it? I forgot already. Uh, 89,000, 89,000 moon bucks. Okay, click this, click this, and we're gonna do a standard cargo pod, which should cost me a thousand. We click send, and we're gonna close that, and that cost me 3,000 moon bucks. So there are some wheels to grease along the way. Now, the higher you get your reputation, uh, the lower that price becomes. It does require some research to go with that uh, price lowering situation. But with that done, if we come up to here, we should see a cargo pod lands right about here. And it's gonna be very empty. And I need uh, very, very many bots to come fill this thing up as fast as possible. Once it's full, well, then it'll disappear and I'll get my 18,000. 16,000, whatever it was. I'll also get that science. The science is the bit I probably really, really want. Yep, uh, you are full and goodbye. Excellent. Okay, uh, whilst we're here. Great job, Director. The funds have already been deposited into our account. Nice. At this rate, we'll soon recoup our expedition and start making a profit. Oh, of course, we didn't have more pressing issues for which the dispatch resources would be useful. Dispatch. But no, Director, yeah, we didn't miss out on yeah. short-term gain. Excuse me? You were complaining about how I'd racked up money on the company credit card. Sheesh. No keeping that lady happy. All right. Can I add in some more solar? Because I have more CPUs. More CPUs means I have more ability to add more things. Uh, in fact, I have 18 microprocessors. So can I add another row through here? And you are missing titanium. Uh, in fact, you're all missing resources. You're maxed out, which is nice. And this room is maxed out from being finished. Yep, I need drones to move faster. Uh, can I go to you? Uh, ping by any chance? Nothing. Okay, uh, can I pop you through to here? All right, so uh, we now have the ability to, well, build more things. I have CPUs online. I still need to have more medicines so we can complete this one up here, over here, the transit station. Uh, they need to have 10 medicine, which we need to get on, on top of 
On top of that, well, I have the multi regolith refinery running. Uh, now, the only thing I haven't done is I haven't done anything with any silicon. Priority. You forgot your priority. Okay. So, uh, you should be running flat out. Uh, there's no slag in there anyway. And there we go. That's now running flat out. Uh, I do need to do something with the processing of this. But... Oh, really? You're so close to repair already? But I also want to add more to this. So... Yeah, I'm going to have them dig here. I don't know if I need the space, but I prefer them to start digging in case I did. All right, uh, so what I want to do is I want to have more processing. More processing, more refineries. I want to have everything centralized, really. So we're going to dump this here. Uh, once this is dumped here, I need to add a few features. Uh, under belts, I need to have, well, obviously this underground and also need to have uh this underground cool uh belts wise i need to take the pink one we know about that over there and through there that's gonna be nice and easy we need to take the aluminium through here and over there i need to bring the slag which we can bring up and into that same slag bucket i need to bring resources down uh can I copy you can i put you here and here uh can i remove that one and try again, uh, like so. Research right. complete. Oop, oop, oop. Uh, which was projector, uh, two researchers. Uh, can I do, I'm missing all researchers. Okay, let's do that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I go with you? Uh, there to there to, ooh. Nope, I definitely need to have some drilling happen. Okay, can you go there and you go there? Cool. And drilling, that is painted red. Uh, so it should be high on the list. Oh, this is also painted red. Yeah, can I get a rubber? There we go. Alright, uh, that way they have to do this one. Alright, can I do belts? Uh, okay, that's gonna have to wait a minute. Alright, so, that's the easy part, okay? We have our silicon, plus we have our titanium... Oh, you mean, oh, you mean, but I have a few other things I need to do. Uh, I need to obviously get iron through to here. Now, I could put an underground like here, but actually that'd work fine. I could put an underground from there to, to there. And I could take my iron, I could run it, well, into there. That'd work. But um, when I want to put another one beside this, I'm going to run out of room. Now, I could make everything slightly wider and slightly larger and, 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 and do that with ease by giving myself more space. But... The game does have a few really cool things. Uh, just, just one or two. Um, so what I want to do is I want to take my iron, well, to this tile. But then after it goes to that tile, I want it to go to that tile. And then I want it to come down to here. But that's going to require me to have some filtering. It also means that eventually I want to have another one of these to also go through like that. But that can... Wait a minute. I don't need that to happen right now. And that costs money. And I prefer not to spend the money. Uh, you, I also need to come into there. And I need you to go there. I need you to go there, but I need to do some filtering. Now, we did look at the priorities earlier, but we didn't look at filters. Uh, iron. I want to have not all resources. I want to have iron go up. I want to have... This is our aluminium going down. Okay, so I want to have aluminium going up and titanium going down. That should split those two. Here, I want to have... Uh, it's silicon. Silicon going up. Done. And I want to have uh, titanium going down yes uh so with that done if we go into belts and i say build all that's 40 grand ouch uh that should be everything split correctly uh, i need to have a power pole connected to that and uh, that should be you up and running obviously we need to plug in uh this belt which is going to come down to uh dismantle yeah, that's close enough. Uh, there to there. And uh, I'd also like to rip out this one and plug that into there as well. But that'll have to wait a minute because Alice wants to talk. Alice always wants to talk. She has this thing where she doesn't stop talking. Uh, they got done. They got half done. And the room didn't get touched. Yeah. Uh, neither did my CPU. So I need more bots to do more things. I think that's the bottom Virginia thing. News. Scientists yep. around the world Sorry. are sounding yep. the alarm. Yep. They have detected a change in the trajectory of the asteroid Totatus. It will inevitably collide with Earth in just two years. That sounds horrible. 
Currently studying the data, uh, the diameter of the asteroid is almost six kilometers. If, uh, if such a celestial body collides with Earth, the consequences will be very dire. Crump really? has already contacted us and provided plans for the construction of a laser system that will help deflect the asteroid's course and save millions of lives. We must focus on this. Hang on, hang on. I know you're talking about something important, but uh, two researchers. Um, I'm sure it's very important. Uh, can I do smart concrete? Yeah, smart concrete. I want to have smart concrete. Uh, belt? Smart concrete. Smart concrete. Smart concrete factory upgrade. Then I can unlock the assembler mark two. The assembler mark two will do multiple recipes at once. Seems very important. Okay. Sorry, what were you saying, Alice? Director, all other tasks are secondary. Attention, all departments. Our new priority is the construction of a laser system to save Earth from the asteroid Tutatis. We face a serious Tutatis. threat and time is of the essence. All departments and specialists must begin their tasks for the new mission immediately. Detailed instructions will follow shortly. End of message. Okay, uh, we need to save people from the tortillas. Yes. Director, we have an incoming message. The sender cannot be identified. Okay. Hello, Director. You're not familiar with us, uh, but that's not necessary. We invite you to assist the SC. T Limited Corporation repairing the relay station, Cassare 5. We're interested in the prompt resumption of work at the station and really help with this. To this end, we'll provide all the necessary equipment and cover expenses. Condition, the corporation can't know where you obtain this equipment from. Uh, agree to deliver the question well equipment or refuse to deal. If I agree to deliver it, that puts me in liable for your stuff. And I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Yeah, I don't even know where that is. All right, uh, you might say all I care about is profit, but at least such a large scale construction, cost of owner resources needed, the contract system, the trading system online, migrating the help own funds, to purchase the missing uh, resources, expand our, our production. We should actually contract. Uh, new contract. Uh, you want 60 steel. Uh, can I start making some money? Because this sounds bad. Uh, send. Cool. Done. All right. What? Uh, yeah, money. Cool. Uh, we've agreed with Crest on suitable place for construction. Why do we get to agree? I think Crest just dictated what we did. Uh, southeast of our base. I've marked the map, uh, lay uh, the location of the map. We can proceed with laying if the foundation. If someone's afraid to engage in dubious deals, then it's probably best for them to steer clear of big business, right? Oh, now you've caught up with me. The repeater has begun working, and you will now regularly discover new signals on the moon's surface. I think I activated like three events at once. Okay, got it. Ping! Yeah, that's a few more places. Laser gun needs... Oh, 4,000 concrete. 240s of titanium plates and now 4,000 steel. I get right on that. Okay, we have a few more things I need to look at. All right, uh, contract complete. Excellent. Uh, that got me some science points. It's very good. And it got me some money. There are no contracts available. That doesn't help me. And solar panels being built. Uh, I have a cargo pod which has some questionable materials. I'm not sure where I need to take the questionable materials. Uh, Laser Foundation. Uh, there's uh, news. In short, I've signed an agreement to complete several contracts on our behalf. There was a frenzy on the market, and I couldn't delay. Frenzy's good. Competitors are ready to restart production on Earth, or sell off their remaining reserves for such prices. But I beat them to it, and pledged to deliver the resources. Okay. Now, it's your turn to show that we're indispensable partners, and reliable suppliers. You'll find the accepted contract under the active tab. Okay, Director, got it. I see them in the database as accepted. Mr. Ledger has outdone it. He has. This is not just unprofessional, oh, but also extremely irresponsible. How about notifying before signing rather than after? My job is to secure the most lucrative contracts for the company, Ms. Exactly. Vance. Exactly. And if a few small deliveries are too challenging for us, we have no business being in the market. Director. I'll deal with Ledger later. Try to focus on active contracts. It's very important to ensure these deliveries are on time. 
Okay, yes boss, new contracts. All right, uh, now I have access to many, many contracts like this one. This is some silicon, some concrete. We have this, this is giving me a whole bunch more science. Also some money, also some relations, also some overall reputation. My current reputation is 50. Uh, well, I'll obviously take this. Uh, you don't have any way to store things and I can't build storage inside these buildings. I need more drones. I think that's my conclusion. Yeah, like these are still not built. Uh, we need more drones. Uh, can I do this really quickly? Uh, I get a bonus if this is completed quickly. Uh, and it shall now be completed quickly. Can I... 64,000. Okay, very quickly before we're done with this episode. Oh, they're 47,000 each. Yeah, I'd like to buy them when they're bottom out of the market, not when they're at the peak. Okay, uh, I could do with more drones. I, I can't make drones, but I could definitely probably buy more. Definitely buy more. Uh, okay, so drones have many things to do. This room needs to be built out. We have to now prevent a catastrophe. We also need to deliver resources to the refugees. I'm up to eight medicine. That's short of the 10 I need. I need to have 10 before we can send you guys off. Uh, I still need to complete the first construction layer of the Great Laser. I now need to deliver dodgy supplies and I also need to a Heskimo. Heskimo. I don't even know where Heskimo is. Complete the crisis contract. Oh, that, 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 that's the one we're shipping off right now. It's this one. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's going to be done. Uh, so we're going to find out in the next episode what the hell is at Cascade 5. We're also going to see how well I can, um, well, uh, deliver a whole bunch of material, like an awful lot of materials. Uh, let's try this. I have 2,000. I have enough flat steel. I do not have, well, I have enough flat titanium. I do not have enough steel, and I, yeah, I'm very short. So we obviously. You're doing a great job, Director. Execute the next contract on time, and I will personally pay for Ms. Vance's therapist. Okay. It's about time, Should considering you're one of the main reasons to visit him. Probably visit Director, often. Crust has sent us an additional set of drones, oh. which will allow us to expand production even <laughs> further. I was just considering that. Them with caution. They are an extremely rare and valuable resource. Just what I was just saying. All right, uh, can I throw down the cargo pod with the extra two drones? And that is it. That is it. I'm pausing the game before anybody else can get another word of dialogue in. I'm going to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to say I really hope you're enjoying the series. I am definitely enjoying this game. As I mentioned previously, I am streaming on the weekend. If you want a slightly different look at the game where, well, the main thing is we're not having hope. We're not dealing with colonists. So I'm going to try and do the game without colonists. I'm going to see how well it goes. Uh, but also, I need to have a lot more construction. Uh, a lot more construction. Probably a one less digging boy. Yeah, I think I need a one less digging boy as well. Also, I don't know why I'm powering these. Yeah, uh, save myself a little bit of power. Uh, yeah, we need to have more drones, more more shipments. If I can get up to 50 drones, we can have stuff done in a hurry. So I think that's going to be our first big aim. Yeah, because it's like, this is not built. Um, and I turned that off even. Yeah, uh, but we need to consolidate everything. We need to consolidate all our, uh, well, all our miners into one continuous uh, system. Also, we did get the bigger and better belt. Bigger and better belt is uh, 150 resources per minute. So that means I can now dump two lots on a single belt, which is going to make one hell of a difference when running these long belts all over the map. But uh, we're going to cover that and so much more in the very next episode. Either way, I need to call it here. Thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you in, well, the very next episode. All right, bye.